talking about social prospecting. We're talking about going on Facebook or other platforms. Right now, we're going to focus on Facebook. But basically, what you're doing is you're going to the platform and you're doing... Hey, my friend, Jean-Serge Gagnon here. And today, we're going to talk about using the reverse social prospecting formula or RSP formula for 2024 and also I'm gonna let you know I'm just gonna let you know what I got look at this I got this for Christmas right it's like New Year's almost you see have you seen these things before it's kind of cool right I mean obviously that's not what it's for right it's not to play around like this uh but I got this I also got this these cool chocolates right here and I got a belt a belt from Buckley one of these places it's a it's really cool belt I got you know some socks and I got also uh, one of these wallets that's protect that protect from uh um <clears throat> it's kind of cool wallet and was I haven't put stuff in it but yeah so that's what I'm getting so we're going to cover the RSP formula in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. Yeah, that's that's anyway. So yeah, it's happy new year. If you're seeing this, you're probably seeing this in the new year, in the new year in 2024. So we're going to talk about how to use the reverse social prospecting formula for to make 2024 your best year yet. We're going to talk about what it is, how to use it. But before we do that, I want to remind you: if you're listening to the audio of this in the podcast, you're going to want to go check out the video at CIS. 492.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and obviously you can't see my great cool gift I got because I'm showing it on the screen right now you wouldn't be able to see that in the audio books you gotta check out that video all right so let's get to it let me share my screen and let's talk about what is the reverse social prospecting formula so when we talk about social prospecting we're talking about going on Facebook or other platforms but right now we're going to focus on Facebook but basically what you're doing is you're going to the platform and you're doing things the platform wants you to do right you're going to the platform you're going to the news feed you're going to engage on the post that are there you're going to comment on them or to interact on them and the reason why you do that is because you're using something called attraction marketing right so attraction marketing is about getting people to you right so you, you could be a salesperson you could just you have some to sell you know you say you make jewelry you do other things like that you could just go out there and call everybody and talk to everybody and ask them if they want jewelry right you could do that you could be a salesperson right and the thing is that that works but most people we don't want to do that we don't want to go out and talk to a hundred people to get 10 sales right we don't want that rejection we don't want the people saying no because it feels bad we don't like that so that's why we use attraction marketing now attraction marketing is all about posting content creating content engaging on offers going to the newsfeed and commenting on things so that the platform shows your stuff to other people you know when you post on Facebook if you post on Facebook a post it doesn't mean people are going to see it you might have a you know 100 friends 500 friends a thousand friends 2,000 friends and you post something and nobody comments on it it's like what is going on why is nobody commenting on my stuff it's a great picture it's a great you know post it's a great thought it's a great whatever it is right you you you'll be like why is nobody commenting and especially this time of year everybody's on here uh you know posting face um posting christmas pictures posting pictures of stuff they got for christmas right all those things that, as you can see right here as i'm scrolling through the feed it's all just christmas stuff right that's because this is the time of year that people well it's Christmas so obviously <laughs> there's gonna be Christmas pictures right but the thing is that Facebook is showing me in my feed right for me the feed that I see is based on what I've been doing in the past 
the post that I react to right if I react to pictures I'll see more pictures in my feed because Facebook knows that I like to react to pictures it I like to comment on pictures if I'm the kind of person who ignores pictures and doesn't comment on any pictures and I I just comment on posts that have no pictures in them well I'm going to see more posts with no pictures in them right right as you can see I do react to pictures and that's why we're seeing pictures on here right I can't you know the, the whenever you look at posts that have no no pictures in them right it's like if I go to if I go to I don't know if I'm logged in here if I go to threads threads.net I think it is I keep forgetting yeah it is because make me log in I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to continue with Instagram am I even logged in but I kind of want to show you because then in, in threads it's obviously a bunch of it's obviously a bunch of uh oh he wants my two uh, two uh, app here let me get that and so this is the I'm pretty sure it's the Instagram one or do I have a do I have a where is it Instagram where is it oh there it is okay so so yeah so if you go to a, a, an app a social app like threads that's mostly a lot of like Twitter right or X now that's a lot of posts that are just text right so if I and people can post those on Facebook right there's a lot of images here too but people can post things on Facebook as well as text which is going to be on Twitter right if I go to Twitter and uh, you can see that most of the posts here are text-based posts right well not most I guess I'm lying lots of images but there are a lot there are posts of just text like see this one here right this is just a question here so if I was somebody who responded mostly to these and my, my point was just that if I was responding mostly to text that's what I would see in the feed so Facebook um, LinkedIn Twitter Instagram they're all very similar they'll show you the stuff that you're engaging in. now why would I bring this up well we're talking about the reverse social prospecting formula right and the, and the normal prospecting process on Facebook on LinkedIn on Instagram is to go through the feed and comment on stuff that's in the feed now what's reverse about what am I what is the reverse thing well the reverse is, <coughs> is you know the opposite right what's the reverse of going forward it's going backwards what's the reverse of turning left it's going right what's the reverse of commenting on the feed well it's not commenting on the feed right so how do how do you do that though right I mean sure there's lots of different tactics right you could go to the groups feed which is by clicking on the groups feed right here and this is basically another feed it's a feed of stuff and then Facebook by the way you can create different feeds feeds of your friends feeds of um, and I don't use that uh, but that is another way to do it but if you're letting Facebook show you the feed and let and commenting based on what's in the feed that is basically you you know letting yourself be you know controlled by the feed right and so that's the thing right you can just use the feed right you can do that and that's that kind of works when you're starting out right actually in the first couple of years and it did work quite a bit and it's a lot better I guess I should say it worked a lot better five years ago because that was kind of the new way of doing it now the thing now is that Facebook is a lot more how can I say controlled in what they do like in the past you might get more engagement on your posts based on your kind of content and based on what other people like like see if I look at these these are text-based posts I was talking about earlier right so there's some text-based posts right here because I've maybe because I reacted to text-based posts in groups more than I did in the normal feed right if I go back to the normal feed that feed has the kinds of posts that I would normally write now I uh, granted right now because it's the holidays the Christmas and all that there's a lot of Christmas stuff just because you know it's Christmas stuff but the thing is that the reverse of doing all that what is the reverse what is and by the way I call it the RSP because of uh, obviously reverse social prospecting right but in Canada the RSP is actually a retirement uh, fund it's like the like the 401k in the US kind of thing it's where you invest uh, a certain amount and you don't have to pay taxes on it right it's it goes into a tax-free uh, environment if you will but anyways the RSP formula is how to do the reverse prospecting. okay so let's talk about what that is right let's talk about what that is 
so first why do we need to use this in 2024 well because the feed engagement right so feed engagement is no longer is not under your control now it used to be that based on you know what you did based on the um content you created based on the engagement you did that that your feed would really be very in tune with your activities now it's uh, it's getting more towards you know the digital creator thing and they want they want some income from that because you know it used to be that you had to have a page to run ads right now you can just transform your profile into a professional profile and you can do ads on it right that's different that's been around for maybe a year now two years maybe at most <clears throat> but the thing is that that's different so obviously Facebook is you know building up to get uh, income from any anything that's on there right versus it used to be like oh you know you can't you can't use your personal for pro profile for business and now it's all different right so the feed is not under your control right so the other reason that you want to do the reverse social prospecting formula is because you want to minimize your time on Facebook right so you don't want to be spending like four five six hours a day on Facebook right even though it can be just five ten minutes here five ten minutes there five ten minutes there you know it adds up and it can end up being like multiple hours in a day right me I just spend 30 minutes 30 minutes a day that's it I just spend 30 minutes a day I go to my to an app I have uh and well it's not an app it's a piece of software with a website and all that but I go to that and that I let that tell me what to engage on what post to comment on right instead of letting the feed tell me that's the reverse right the reverse is the reverse is instead of letting the Facebook feed whoops Facebook feed decide what to engage on you decide you decide right so you decide based on certain rules right so you what you want is you want to engage on posts that are in your target market right so how do you decide how do you decide right how do you decide number one engage on posts of people that are in your target target market now you might be tempted to say well you know if I if I'm on Facebook and I'm engaging regularly on posts that are in my target market isn't that what I'm going to see in the feed and you're probably right you will see mostly stuff that's in your target market if you engage on stuff that's related to your target market in the feed the problem though is that you have no clue how many posts you've commented on and anyways it's all it, like I still have to kind of figure out how to explain this really really clearly because the one of the secrets of taking control is understanding exactly where you are in a you know a process right so if you're at the beginning of a process versus in the middle of it or near the end of it there's different activities that you can take and you're going to get different results based on where you are in that process right so the the reverse social prospecting formula is all about taking control of the process and you being fully in control of what you engage on how much you do it whose post it is and all that stuff right so but you got to engage on posts of people that are in your target market <laughs> number two <coughs> you have to track how can I put this you have to track um how many posts you've engaged on on um how many posts you've engaged on um on specific people which is what I want to say what I how many posts have you've engaged on on each person person's posts so I mean the thing is that how do you how do you track that right but I mean you can be like okay you know what I remember seeing you know Marie's posts and commenting on it the last few days and even if I go through the feed I say oh I see Marie's posts all the time so you know I know that I've been engaging a lot on her posts she's been commenting 
<coughs> sorry she's been reacting to my comments she's been replying to my comments I even seen her comment on my posts so I know that Marie is you know at a certain level in in the connection with me right because she has been engaging I've been engaging on her stuff we kind of see each other's stuff we kind of know about each other and you can do that with your memory right you can work your memory like that but if you're like anybody I know if you're like me you know that it doesn't take long for you to f to forget possibly Marie if all of a sudden you get a post from other people and you're like huh I remember Marie uh, I wonder how many how long ago it's been since I posted them so then you're gonna go to Marie's profile and you're gonna go look through her posts and be like geez one two three four five six seven you're gonna scroll down through the feed and you're gonna find the one that you reacted to that's like two months ago oh my god I thought it was not that long ago right <clears throat> what if you had a way to know exactly that right away I mean you don't it's like knowing that doesn't really matter it's not about knowing how long ago it was that you engaged on Marie's post or not it's about using that information to control your interactions on Facebook if you control <clears throat> so take control of your engagement engagement schedule let's call it that take control of your engagement schedule so you take control of your engagement schedule those are the things the reverse social prospecting formula is doing the reverse of what you do right so instead of engaging on the feed feed posts you choose who's post to engage on right so you choose who to post who do you want to engage on right you want to engage on the people that are active in Facebook you want to engage on the people that are commenting and engaging in the groups that you know your target market is in you want to engage on posts that you know speak to you right that you feel connected with right you don't comment on anybody everybody's post just because they're in a group but you control that right whoops not in Steph instead <clears throat> okay then the other one is instead of instead of uh just using using your memory to track your activities let software do it right now obviously you could use an excel spreadsheet you could put people's you know profile names in there and you can say I visited them on this date that date whatever and you can use a spreadsheet to kind of track all that information <clears throat> but that's a lot of work right so nobody really wants to do that at least not in the long term I know I did it for a little bit and it's just it's great but like I said it takes it doesn't take long before you feel so like it's just so heavy it's a burden right so that's the thing and then the other third the other thing is instead whoops what am, why is my cube why is my cursor up there instead <clears throat> instead of um just post just uh randomly <clears throat> um spending time in the feed and ending up there three two to five to let's say six hours a day you take control of that time and do it all in just 30 minutes a day now that's I mean imagine right imagine spending 30 minutes a day instead of like you know hours during the day on Facebook feed well, what if you could just spend 30 minutes a day doing the basics of engagement which is the super most important thing for traction marketing because without that engagement without creating content <clears throat> which can take just a few minutes right without creating content and without engaging on a, a certain number of posts per day nobody's going to see your stuff and that's the, that's the thing about Facebook if you if you don't give it what it wants if you don't give Facebook if you don't get the platform what it wants 
then you're not going to get what you want you're you're not going to get people to see your posts you're not going to get people to comment on your stuff you're not going to get people to start to know like and trust you those are the basics of attraction marketing if you don't get those things you're not going to be able to make any sales online at least not not in any way that's efficient right sure you can spend thousands of dollars a month on ads <clears throat> make a few sales and uh, that can work if you really are good with ads but the thing is that as soon as you stop spending money you're going to stop making sales right so what you want is you want to learn the basics of attraction marketing using the current strategies that work using reverse social prospecting because with the reverse social prospecting formula you're in control and <clears throat> that's what works in 2024 that's what's going to work in 2024 you need to use that method and you know it's 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 really that simple these three things if you do these three things then you're going to be able to have like imagine I mean right now let's say you're doing things that you know <clears throat> that the leaders are telling you to do right go on the Facebook go on Facebook comment in on posts go into groups comment on posts send friend, friend requests follow people send private messages based on their profile go to their profile look at what they what they have they like and say something about one of their po pictures you see one of their posts and start a relationship build a rapport using all that right so that all works <clears throat> but it takes a lot of like um the 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 how can i put it the um the amount of work that you need to do to get the one result is a lot right it's a lot and and so yeah I mean that takes so much time imagine like you're basically sending friend requests and messages to I don't know like say 10 people a day right and that's like 300 a month right so say you do <clears throat> so right now the way to do it is friend requests requests right send pms etc <clears throat> so suppose suppose let's just suppose suppose you do you do 10 a day right that's three three hundred a month <clears throat> so you're having well you're not necessarily having conversations but you're sending 300 to 300 different people per month right say you you get you get I don't know how many would you say you're actually going to get replies to and going to have good conversations right probably 10 to 30 let's be let's be nice and say you get 30 right <clears throat> assume 30 right so that's uh, that's behind my face there let me move this <coughs> up here right. so let's just go like this make this so that you I don't hide it there we go okay <coughs> so that's 10 that's that's 10 percent right so 10 percent so you say you get 10 percent having conversations out of those 30 <coughs> you will get maybe one to three sales right let's say three <clears throat> let's say three just to be nice we'll say three so that's again that's 10 percent of the 10 percent which ends up being one percent of the or one percent of contacts right so so you get one percent of contacts to buy now let's say it's like a tenth of that you know it could be 0.1 percent it depends on your <clears throat> how can I say it depends on your ability to have conversations and your ability to to be relatable and all those different things that cause people to actually want to do business with you right the more you build content the more you create content the more you engage on posts the more people see you in their feed the more likely those numbers will go up right because they're going to have a good relate a feeling about you and they're going to be willing to have a conversation with you they're going to be willing to buy from you and all those things right but the current way of doing it right now using this method the normal method of you know everybody out there is of getting one percent just one measly percent 
what if you could get 90 percent of them of the conversations to buy what if you could do that what if you could get 90 percent right I mean what if you could do that what if you could get that I mean you're probably thinking that's ridiculous that's way too much it's not possible to get 90 percent well let's say I could get 50 percent and I know you can I know I can I've been I've been doing it <clears throat> and the w reason why it works <clears throat> I'm sorry I got something in my throat <clears> throat> the reason it works is because of these things uh, because of the reverse social prospecting because you're using the reverse social prospecting formula you're in control you're tracking you're understanding where you are whenever you have conversations instead of sending random friend requests random messages all this stuff you do that only to the ones that are ready for it and you know when they're ready for it and that's what the reverse social prospecting formula is all about it's all about understanding where you are now how do you how do you use that in a way that is really very efficient well it's using this software that I call active group users software right so this software here is basically a piece of software that you installed in chrome and it goes and finds users for you based on the groups that you choose that's step number one the first step is getting the groups and getting the users out of those groups <clears throat> but then the next step is you access that data and you use that data to do your Facebook engagement you don't you don't randomly go in the feed you don't randomly comment on stuff you just you use the data to decide where to go where to engage like if I go to Lindsay or let's say which one I have 16 days let's go to Pan Cash here if I go to his profile I just click on his name and I click on his profile link right here and it takes me to Facebook and then I come to his post and I comment on his post right I'm just gonna like this I'm gonna go and say uh whoops what happened here uh there we go <clears throat> so Facebook is kind of weird it'll it'll load up the page and then it loads the it loads the featured post afterwards so that's why it kind of scrolls back up because it wants you to see the featured post right so that's the thing I'm saying Facebook is in control it wants to control what's going on right so I'm just going to put in here hope you had hope you had a great now this is obviously Christmas is an easy time of year to put a comment on stuff right it's just letting them know about the Christmas right so I so basically I just go to his feed I react to a few posts I comment on a post then I close this and then I just put in here that I commented on one post and I reacted to three posts right so then I save that so now now I know that this person here I I visited just now it also tells me if I click on his name again just to kind of show you <coughs> you can see right here if I scroll down that I visited them 49 times in the last 479 comments on 96 posts reacted to 142 posts if I just mouse over these <coughs> actually gives me the dates right so that's not really important for you to know other than the fact that you can see that it's pretty consistent every 16 days 22 days 32 days 39 so it's in a consistent way and I don't have to remember when I visited his profile the tool lets me and uh, it remembers it for me and I can say show me the people that I have not visited in 10 days so that I go visit their profile again now because it's been 10 days so so that way I'm not I'm in full control of whose posts I visit how often I visit them and then the other thing that happens too is that that person because because uh Pan 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 Cash here has seen me comment on his stuff he knows kind of who I am a little bit because he sees my comments he's probably been to my profile since then he's probably counted some of my posts so that's but that's attraction marketing that's exactly what attraction marketing is it's all about engaging on people's posts and you know getting them to see you so that they become uh to they get to a point where they trust you right becoming knowing liking you 
and trusting you right no like trust right that whole process that's part of attraction marketing right and that's basically what you're doing here with a reverse social prospecting formula using active group users you're in control and you know exactly you see right here the dates shows me how long ago it's been so I know that there's no real sense in going to see Lynn right now or or James because I visited them a few days ago or probably don't there's no need for me to visit them all the time you could if you want it but then maybe they won't they don't post more than a few times a, uh, a week right and so that's kind of what uh, this lets you do and then then you can choose who you visit and you can know like say for example I can even say here you see how they have hot hot they're all hot well that's because I'm but if I go in here and I say show me all my contacts so if I list all my contacts versus just the ones that were found in the last what's called a scrape because every day you scrape the groups right to get the people that have commented and reacted in the uh, commented and posted in the group so you get a list of people that are actually active on Facebook that's why it's called active group users people who are actually active in the groups who are actually commenting who are actually posting and this is kind of what you, you get out of this if I go here and I just say I want just the hot people the people that are uh well they're not hot people they're they're, they're hot leads right so it's a lead that's either um <clears throat> that's either cold warm or hot or doesn't have a, a, a you know a temperature yet <clears throat> or or show them all right if I do this and I just filter here I say without a note so if I just filter that like this then I can see only the people that and what defines somebody as a hot prospect it's somebody who's been seeing me in their comments for a certain amount of time not yet the default is a certain settings if I go to options here you can see that somebody becomes warm after three visits and three comments become hot after seven visits and seven comments which you know maybe you want to change that I think the default is five and ten I changed this just be, I don't know why at some point I changed it to show probably but the thing is that this is where you decide after a certain number of visits they become hot they become a hot contact right and then you know and and the reason is because you know that they're ready for you to reach out to them for you to have a conversation you know as well as anybody else that and if you're if you don't know this then I'm telling you right now there is no sales that happen without interaction now yes if you're a leader you've been making sales for like five years and you've got huge people that are actually kind of you know speaking for you they're top fans of you and they're saying hey this guy's great this gal's great you can buy from her you can trust her I, I trust her I bought from her whatever that works but when you're starting out there's none of that you're new people don't buy from new people unless they know them so how do you get them to know you is using attraction marketing and this process here takes the attraction marketing to a fine fine process that's followable that you can actually do exactly what you're supposed to do without doing anything that you don't need to just the basics just the important stuff and this tool lets you do that and that's what reverse social prospecting is all about it's all about taking control and doing it in the way that works and just what you need to do nothing else all right so that's it for today and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time